Hey guys and welcome back to the channel. Match there Sunday 2pm against Wolves. I'm at St James's Park at half 11. I mean what the hell am I doing on a Sunday morning at St James's Park this early? I don't know what it is but I'm just in a good mood today. I'm ready for this match and I think it's probably mainly due to Newcastle's plate in the season now because you've got Wolves today, Nottingham Forest to wear on the Friday. I actually think this is a pinnacle week in our season. Performance-wise, we're still playing well for the most part, but it's a case that we've completely dropped off now. We're not scoring goals. As a result, we're really starting to drop points in the, in the league table. And with the likes of Liverpool, Chelsea, I know Liverpool lost the ball yesterday, but I still fancy them to get top six. I'm expecting Chelsea to creep back into the top there. And that means there's less chance of us getting top there. So I think this week's very, very important. If we don't get at least four points, I think it's got to have massive repercussions in our season as a whole. So. It's extremely important that Newcastle get the job done today. But hello guys, welcome back. If you're new around here, make sure you get down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the like button as well if you enjoy what you're watching. What did I say? It's been over three weeks since being at St James Park. It feels good to be back. I'm ready for this match. Wolves at home. I mean, with all due respect to Wolves, we've got to be beating Wolves at home. So it's one of these ones where I'm looking into it. Um, it's a massive point of our season now. We do not win today. Or it's another case where we're not taking chances and not scoring goals. And I'm going to come on the outro extremely peeved off again. That it, it, it's going to be not, it's not going to be a good day. So um, let's forget about it. I'm confident we're going to get three points today. For now, I'm going to actually head up into the players' entrance area. Catch players coming in. Because I'm just here stupidly early. So without further ado, let's get to it. Come on the mags. Eddie Howe has just arrived at St James' Park at about 10 past 12 and I looked around and I'm thinking where the hell is all the Newcastle fans so I go on my phone and then realise Wolves half four kickoff. I'm so stupid it's unbelievable I actually thought it was a two o'clock kickoff. I, I just didn't even check it out I had an alarm clock on for nine in the morning I could have slept in I could have done about 100 hour things and stand outside St James' Park four hours before kickoff. I've got to say though, it's insane seeing Eddie Howe going over four hours before kickoff. He knows how important this week is for Newcastle. Over four hours before kickoff. I mean, what the hell is he going to be doing before the players turn up? It's, it's mental. It's really good to see a manager be that dedicated to the club. Of course, I've met Eddie Howe so many times now, so for me, I just kind of stood in the background when everyone was getting pictures of him because, I mean, he must be sick of seeing me at this rate. But yeah, I just thought I'd mention that. Incredible. And as for me, I'm not too more on. Two hours later, let's try this again, shall we? Against Bruno. So I think the Strauss completely forgot about Bruno. I'm pretty sure he's the last one in now. I haven't seen St. Maxman today, so birthday boy 26. I can't believe he was 26, by the way. I'm starting to feel old. But I haven't seen him today, unless he came extremely early. I'm Finley. My name's Caleb. I reckon 4-0 to Newcastle. 4-0? 4-0. Who are we seeing for 4-0? Like, what goal scorers? Uh, I reckon Isaac, uh, Gordon and St. Max if he's starting. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say 1-0. I'll probably say Callum Wilson to score. Well, fair enough, lads. Hopefully we get the three All points right. on yeah. out of mags. Up the mags. Up the mags. All right, lads, what are we seeing for the score today? 2-1-2. I'm seeing 2 1 as well. 1 0 and 2. 3 0 mugs. 2 1. 5 0. 6 0. 2 0. 1 0. Oh, the mugs. Come on. Come on. Come on. Hello. Have you been alright? Thank you. What do you think the score's going to be? I said 2 0. What are you seeing for the score, lads? 3 0. 3 0. 3 0. Oh, sure. I hope so, right? The mugs. Come on. Come on. Come on. So, anyway, I'm just walking off to Shiwa's barn now. In the meantime when I was walking over Casemiro has been sent off from Manchester United which means that he's going to miss our game against them a couple weeks later of course in the Carabao Cup final man of the match scored the first goal absolute game changer for Manchester United so that's going to benefit us to be fair that's good news for us but we've still got to do our job today on a Friday still got to do our job of course can but we've got to do our job next week Anyway, now we're joined by the Newcastle City Junior squad here. So pretty much they've got loads of buckets here on the match day. So you want to donate to their team, make sure to do so. But anyway, lads, score predictions today. What are we thinking against Wolves? 2-0? 3 one 3 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0. 2-0
So there's a bit of a common theme now uh, going around Newcastle and all the Premier League teams is uh, getting the food bank Bruno magic hat on. So it's the first time wearing this one, so it's an amazing experience. Uh, I quickly show the, the masterminds behind the hat in just a moment, but I, uh, there it is, Bruno's magic hat. So this year, guys, is Wofi now. He's actually made over £5,000 that he's donated to the food bank. So first off, congratulations, Wofi. It's incredible to see someone as young as yourself donate so much money. But just in a lighter mood, score predictions against Wolves. What are we going to say today? 3-1. 3 one. Any score, goal scorers in mind? We well, appreciate it. Congratulations again on the money. I wish you all the best. Uh, keep it, keep it the good work. The club appreciates it. All right, lads. What are we thinking today? I would say three two. Three two. Uh, all right. Two nil. Two nil. I think uh, two one. Hopefully. Two one. And finally, lads, for the Premier League season itself, where do you think Newcastle will finish? I'd like them to finish in the top ten, maybe six or seven. So you're gonna say six or seven, yeah. all right? Fifth. Fifth? Fifth or fourth. That's a good spot, I hopefully. I hope, yeah, for me, I think we'll finish seventh to eighth. Seventh. I think anywhere top eight for us is a very successful season. Any form of European football is my aim this year. So, appreciate it, lads. All the best. Hopefully, we get the job done today. Which is. So, once again, guys, we are joined by Jack, also known as JJ Charlton, on TikTok. Bit of a channel regular now, you could say. Came all the way up from Bournemouth today after the game. He's going all the way back down to Bournemouth, so uh, yeah. it's going to be quite a long day for you. Hopefully, have you made a good call today? I think you have, to be honest. I think Newcastle are going to have a good game there. Hopefully, you haven't jinxed us there. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but anyway, uh, interesting lineup. Eddie Howe's changed the entire attack, which I've got to be honest, I think I do agree with. I yeah. don't know what your thoughts are, but Murphy, Maximin, and Isaka are always starting, so. What are your opinions on those three? Well, I definitely want to see some changes because obviously the goals have dried up. I've always backed Maxi and I feel like he deserved to start. Good to see Isak play, even though Eddie had those comments in the week saying that he's not really ready for 90 minutes. But to see him start was fantastic. Yeah, well, it was fantastic for us. So, hopefully he'll get a goal today. And as for Murphy, I think, it's, I think it makes sense because Miggy's been out of kind of bad form. He had a purple patch where he scored a lot of goals, but it's dried up a little bit. So, I think Eddie's made the right decision and hopefully it pays off. And finally, as for the score prediction so quite a crucial game. I, I know you're planning on going to Forest and Friday, whether you can get a ticket or not. But I mean, I think this game, in my opinion, sets up the Forest game. So I think if we struggle today, we'll make the Forest game harder yeah. on the Friday night. You know, a team that's going to be really looking for it at home. So uh, just what are your thoughts on this game? Um, well, you kind of touched it there, mate. I feel like it does set it up. I feel like without sounding arrogant, we should really take six points from the next two games, if I'm honest. Today I'm going to go and predict a 2-1 a win and I feel like that'll put us in a good place going to the city ground and yeah, they've got a few good players, Ruben Neves will look to dictate the play in the midfield even though he can play about long balls all the time and all that but yeah, I hope we get the job done and I think we will uh, by a fine margin. Hello, my name's Harry and I think we're going to win 4-1. 4-1? What goal score is he going to go for? You seen the lineup? So we've got Murphy, Sil, Maxman, Isak in the front three. Do you think any of them are going to score? Just like you can think. Uh, 4 1, that's confident, hope so. All the best, how you enjoy yourself. Heading into my turns down now. My prediction for today, I'm saying Sir Maxman at the score. Birthday boy, I think it's going to be in a good mood, so I'm going to say Sir Maxman at the score. I don't care what we do, just get the three points, that's all I ask for. Full time at St James's Park tonight. Newcastle 2, Wolves 1. Get in there, three points on, finally. I mean, we just about got three points to be honest. I can't believe we almost threw that game away, by the way. I thought Wolves were cracked today. I really didn't think that Newcastle were throughout the better team. I mean, we gave Wolves their goal, to be honest. I mean, what the hell is Trippy and Pope doing? I don't know what's happened there. Complete lack of communication. Somebody's made a Biggie, mistake I'm a there. One. Yes, I'm a one, yeah. Honestly, uh, Biggie, doggy, dog. Right, you, you mate? Good to see you, mate, aye? Oh, I mean, brilliant, brilliant performance from us. I'm so happy we got the three points. Get it out of here! Honestly, performance-wise, we were miles better than Wolves. I was really happy how we played. I thought, it's Saxon, Max from the first half, especially. Hello there. Hello. Right. Hello. I thought Murphy had a really good second half. What oh, the fuck is Joe Willick? I thought it was my man of the match, to be honest with you. He just worked his arse off for 90 minutes. I was really happy with Joe Willick, hello. And finally, uh, after so many weeks of frustration, we've picked up three huge points. Puts us on that plate ready for Nottingham Forest on the Friday night. So yes. that's talk for the uh, 
for the first half. First, um, I mean, Wolves had a quite a, a big call in the game where Nick Pope lost possession of the ball. And I've got to be honest, I thought it was a pen at first. I had a chance to watch it back, but the fact that VR did not check it suggests that he got away with it. But I thought Nick Pope was a lucky man there. I thought it probably was a pen at the first call I've seen it. Other than that, Wolves hit the post outside the box and Newcastle just dominated the half. Keep it going, son. You're uh, doing thank, great. Thank you very much, Jai. Uh, it's that gets his goal. That's what a £60 million player does throughout the game, time and time and time and time again. It's that creates chances. Hello. And I thought him and Sir Maxwell had a really good combination in the first half. Both of them were superb, created plenty of chances. Birthday boy thought I had a good first half. I think he calmed down a little bit in the second half, but first 45, I thought was really good from him. Uh, we're going to half time 1 0. I think we've still got our problem of not finishing games off. And now he bit us in the Austin, but we've still got to finish games off the second goal, make it 2 0. And that, then it's game over. That's probably the biggest problem we have at the minute as a team. We're not finishing these opposition teams off. And it almost came back in. Great game. Yeah, great, great game, game, man. Great game. It almost came back and bit us in the backside of there. Up the Premier League we go, yes. Up the mark. Still three losses and 11 wins, 11 draws. 27 games have only lost three times. That is crazy standard. So I did pass it on. Um, going into the second half, I thought Newcastle again. Didn't, didn't create as much, but I still thought we'd give a great go. Subscribe to Adam P. Yes, subscribe to Adam P. <laughs> Subscribe to Adam Pearson! Yeah, thank you very much, lads. Come on, Come on. 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 Other than that, Newcastle didn't create as much in the second half, but I still thought we were the better team. Wolves never really got going. Uh, but eventually, as I said before, Newcastle just give them a goal. We quite literally just went, there you go, Wolves, there's a goal. I, I, could, I couldn't believe it. We nearly threw away 10 points because of just pure stupidity on our own. But thankfully, I'm one off the bench, our oh man, this season. Uh, you can have quiet games at times, but I tell you what, when he gets the ball, he knows how to finish it. Great touch, great goal. He was clearly on the side. Great finish, wins us the match 2 1 in the end. And uh, close shave, again, close shave, close not shave. convincing. Uh, come on. Performance wise, definitely the better team, but again, you've got to finish the game off. We didn't do that, and it almost cost us two points there. So I can't stress the importance of finishing opposition teams off, but very, very good performance. I am pleased with the performance. Newcastle, easily the better team in the game, so much better than it than has been in recent weeks. Eddie Howe completely changed the attack and it's paid off today. All three of them I thought were exceptional in the pitch today. I do. But I, uh, job done. Joe Willick's my man of the match. Four had a really good game today. Newcastle, listen, do that against Nottingham Forest again in third half. I fancy our chances. We win against them. I think we're back on track. The composure's back to the team. Oh, come on, Adam. Come on, yeah. You're yeah. Wolves Endland. Well, yes, I'm yeah. Wolves Endland. <laughs> Wolves End till I die. But I, uh, we're going to wrap things up here. Yeah, give us just a sec, pal. Uh, uh, wrap things up now guys really good performance on Newcastle uh, I thought we played well three points on the board I'm buzzing tonight so many weeks I've complained to us for not finishing chances today we have finished chances 1-2-1 one, in one, the ends and we won our oh, boy the man this season who's popped the ball in the net has done it again hello pal by the way guys thank you all for watching take care subscribe one more time yeah subscribe one more time thank you guys for watching take care in a bit of lads Cheers, lads. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. See you in the next one.